video, we will focus on the mysterious and magical keys employed by Heilung, which they use to empower their music and rituals with the qualities of magic. Those keys of power are no other than the enigmatic runes of the Norse themselves. So, join us as we start to uncover the secrets of the mighty runes to not only understand the magic of Heilung, but try and understand how we might apply them to our own life. Before we focus on the runes themselves, it is important we first use a bit of time to loosely cover the powers of the breath, intent, and sense, as the runes are used as tools to manage these powers. First, we have the power of the breath. When you breathe, you live. When you take a breath and use it to create a sound, you make a change in our shared reality by emitting a wave of sound which will travel through and affect the surrounding environment, including the realm of spirit for good or for ill. You, as a human, you create, you affect, you bring change by the power of your breath. Secondly, the power of intent. When applying your will, when you are aware, when you make a decision or when choosing not to make a decision, you are working with the power of intent. By the power of intent, you add energy to actions, events, things in both the material and spiritual world. Third and last, the power of sense, which enables us to see, hear, feel and touch what is and has been created, what is being changed how reality is being experienced so that we might react and sense what happens in and around us. These three fundamental powers behave like strong currents in our lives which are constantly affecting our lives whether we like it or not. You always breathe, you always intend you always sense. But it is currents of power which to a high degree can be controlled and managed to create a certain desired result such as healing and it is this process of taking control and managing these currents of power that is true magic and the magic that Heilung so expertly uses to promote healing in our bodies and spirits. But to achieve such a level of control, it is advisable to apply the use of efficient tools and of the most efficient tools to achieve this are the Norse runes. By the power of your breath, you can create and utter a random sound to signal joy to someone else. An act which is typically done by small children. However, we soon teach them to use tools in the shape of words to more effectively signal one's intent. And the child quickly learns that when the right word is combined with the corresponding sound and tone of joy, the desired outcome gets more efficiently achieved. The same logic applies if you want to be cruel to someone. If you present a sound which has a negative tone to it, it will for sure impact your target. But if you combine it with certain words, 
then the potency of the negative impact will increase dramatically. Our point is that the symbols, the letters, the words, are tools used to increase the potency of what you are creating with your breath. But it is not only the power of the breath that is affected by the use of symbols, letters and words. You can also use letters and words to empower an intent. Most people, when they set an intent, they play out a certain line of words in their mind which describes their intent. It is almost as if the words help us become sharper on what our intent actually is. The sharper, the more intense the intent gets, the more potent it becomes. We all know the power of having the sentence I don't know what to played in our mind. But imagine that instead of using weak and simple letters which merely represent a sound as your tools to make efficient use of the power of breath and intent, you could use magically imbued runes. Each rune does not only represent a certain type of sound, but also feelings, values, images, spirits of all kinds, including gods and animal spirits, and so on. All that power is packed into one single symbol, one single rune. While the runes themselves are already immensely powerful, now imagine you start creating words sentences, songs of the runes. Imagine you start moving and dancing, imitating the runes. Do that and you will have magic. Do that and you have Hylum. There is a very good reason for that the prime Norse god of selfish power, Odin, was willing to sacrifice everything to find and learn the power of the runes. Just as there is very real reason for different people and organizations, continuous use of runes to this very day. Runes are a source of great power, power which can be used for both good and ill. The starter song for any Heilung ritual is In My John. The start of the song is largely focused on Heilung identifying themselves to the realm of spirit with an emphasis on the person responsible for the ritual, the shaman who, in the case of Heilung, is Kai. When the introduction is done, the song continues with the chanting of all the runes from one end to the other, over and over, invoking the runes by the power of their breath. While they continue to chant, Heilung starts to increasingly focus more and more on the power of intent, building up their focus on the runes, the level of intensity constantly increasing by each breath and beat on a drum until they, and hopefully also the audience, reach a trance-like state. The result is that a ritual is born by the power of the breath and it is then filled with the power of intent and by the use of the runes, the potency of the ritual increases dramatically. 
By the end of the song, In My John, you are now not only being given the privilege of being a part of a ritual, but a Heilung ritual. An experience which could not be achieved without the use and activation of the Norse runes. So how can you start applying the runes to your life? Start by applying your power of breath, intent and sense to them. Sing along with Heilung when they chant the runes in the song in my jang. Start becoming aware of all the runes when you watch their rituals or music videos such as Noruku. Start allowing yourself to sense the feelings in your body and soul when you see or say the runes out loud. On the channel, we also have a number of shorts which convey the meaning of the runes, which you can study. And in the future, we will for sure have more in-depth videos which put an extra emphasis on the individual runes and how you can invoke them. We hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, consider subscribing and activate notifications, as it really means a lot to us. Vi ses nästa gang. Hej hej!